Well, hello there, and welcome to Furs on Rails. I'm Silverly, this is Tide, and this is a new travel um, documentary uh, where we'll be exploring northern England and southern Scotland by rail. So, as a little bit of background, we're in mid August 2020 right now, and it was back in April at the height of the COVID 19 pandemic when we thought about when travel was possible again, the sort of places which we'd like to visit. There were a lot. <laughs> yes, there were quite a few, and uh, as a consequence, we weren't quite sure where we wanted to begin. So we had an idea. We started, first of all, with a mode of transport which we both enjoy, which is train travel. But to keep things manageable, we set ourselves a limit, which was every station within 100 miles of our nearest station, Newcastle. That's 338 stations in total. We put all the names into a hat. You can see the hat right here. It has the uh, British Railways logo in orange for the northeastern region, of course. And whichever name we picked out of the hat, that was where we were going to be going for our trip. So, uh, so as you can see, we have all the names in the hat. Uh, we have absolutely no idea which one we're going to be going for. Uh, so we go ahead and pick one and see where we're going to yeah, go so to start with. Choose our magical mystery tour. <laughs> a couple of ideas of where we uh, thought about where we might want to go, and, um, but Whitby, Whitby, be one. <laughs> <laughs> Let, let's see. Will it, will it be? Will it be Whitby? Um, I don't know where that is. It's it's Bempton. We're, we're off to Bempton. <laughs> I have no idea where Bempton is either. Oh, well, you can't <laughs> help there, no. It's... To the internet. <laughs> yeah, that that'll be our, our first. Station stop. <laughs> the internet. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so uh, yeah, we need to book a ticket to Bempton and work out what we can do there. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Okay. So a quick internet search revealed that Bempton is a village in the East Riding of Yorkshire, on the Yorkshire coast. The main attraction is the RSPB's Bempton Cliffs Nature Reserve. And here was our journey. From Newcastle, we headed down the East Coast Main Line to York, out to Scarborough on the coast, and then along the coast to Bempton. The journey takes about two and three quarter hours, and costs 71 pounds for both of us, with a two together rail card, booking in advance, and splitting the tickets Newcastle York and York Bempton. leaving our local metro station on the way to Central Station with a rat. Squeak, squeak. All right, so here is Newcastle Central Station. First time I've been inside here since March. Pretty quiet for Saturday morning. Not catching a train just yet. Going to acquire provisions. Here we are at the snack place. Typical Northeastern. Let's go get food. I just want to point out something quite quickly here. Notice that this is the exit, but it's got a big no entry sign here. So when first came along, actually went to this one. So looking for the, the green arrows rather than the uh, no entry sign. But this is actually the entrance. So in short, we first exited through the entrance. So LNR, if you're watching, just a small gripe. I'm sure you're doing everything to keep people safe, but uh, it's just something we noticed. That is our train, 8.43. Expect A45. We're going as far as York. Let's go. Well, hello everyone. First time I've been on a train since March, I believe. Yeah, March. The train actually came into the other side of the platform than I was expecting, so I didn't get the establishing shot of it pulling in to whisk us away. But um, here we are. Um, it's a Trans Pennine Class 802 and their new Nova trains. And we're on this one as far as York, and we are pulling away very shortly. <laughs> And we're just heading out over the Tyne, on the Tyne Bridges. Should also say there's not any reservations on the Trans Pennine trains, uh, neither on cross country, I think they're bringing them in uh, in two days time actually. Um, LNER do have reservations. The rule seems to be people stay one row apart from each other, uh, which works. Okay, just leaving Durham. See one of my favorite views. Anywhere on a railway in Britain. It's quite sunny today, so not a great shot, but you can see the outline of the cathedral and the castle anyway. Beautiful. Okay, so we made it as far as York. Our next train's in 10 minutes' time. 
So thoughts on the first train I've been on for about six months. It was generally good to see people following the rules regards to wearing masks and finish everyone's keeping their distance. There were a couple of tables of, quite frankly, idiots uh, who were um, drinking, not wearing masks, taking like, the first opportunity to um, get their masks off and just surround and basically treat it like a party. Um, didn't see any conductors or anything on the train. Um, don't know what that means in terms of Transpennine's staffing levels. Um, so there might be an issue there. I tend to find these kind of situations, if there were someone to uh, just give people you know, a polite reminder, um, they would generally comply. Um, do bear in mind it is Saturday, um, so bear that in mind, so maybe the people just aren't available. Um, but I say on, on the whole, most people are following the rules, which is good to see. We're doing what we need to. A second train from York to Scarborough uh, should be on here for about uh, 45 minutes. Um, just sit back and relax. So Moulton, first stop on second train. What a nice station. Just really point out, train doesn't fit on the platform. So here in Scarborough, second changeover. The lovely long platforms there where all the holiday makers used to come in times gone by. Not quite used so much anymore, but the long platform's still there. The train we came on. A couple of 185s coupled together. Rat. And a particular interest, an old map. All right, we've got a few minutes till our next train, so we're going to head along and catch that. And here is our third train of the day. Class 170 Turbo Star, Scarborough to Hull service, so we're catching as far as Bempton. Let's go. Oh, this looks familiar. Seema. Yeah, train goes into Scarborough and then back out the same way. It's going to branch off now. Off to the birds. Okay, so we're leaving finally, heading south towards Hunnanby, the next station. Should on this side be able to see some evidence of the um, previous railway that went to Butlands at finally. middle of the triangle junction there. So it joined up again. And here we are coming into Bempton. Yes, <laughs> stop here for the burbs. Nice. Good look at the train the platform. Ah, level crossing. <laughs> well, so as you can see from the sign behind us, we made it to Bempton, the furthest we're heading today. Um, we're going to go have a look around and eventually go see some burbs. <laughs> okay, so just another quick look around the station. It's a rather quiet, rural, unstaffed station. Single track, as you can see, though it does have a real-time display. Is one shelter there with some seats inside and a bench as well and generally quite a quiet place about half a dozen people I say got off the train um, they might be heading to the, the bird reserve um, and that's eventually where we're going to be heading up most likely okay level crossing at the end of the platform Quite a nice building, it's really something to do with the station previously. And they do actually have an um, information booth and uh, actually a ticket machine as well. So even the tiny stations are good modern times. And I'm going to put my coat on because the wind's picking up a little bit and then we're going to head into the village. And here we are, welcome to Bempton sign flower display. The village is down that road, let's go. So coming to the village narrow little path down there that we're um, trying to stick to with two-way traffic 
and horsies. What? Okay, you can see we're the first of our burbs here. Uh, plane or something overhead, yeah, little little plane. Um, not the nature reserve, just a little village green. A nice shot of the church right over there. That's nice so far. And yes, we have arrived. And there's the sea down there, and it appears to be down here. Onwards. Right, so here we are back at Bempton Railway Station. There's absolutely no one else around uh, apart from us. It's about 40 minutes till our train arrives, um, but that's what you can expect on the rural lines. Um, they're not going to be all that frequent. It's fine, I managed to pick up a book in the gift shop over at the um, Bird Sanctuary, so I'd probably be reading that. You might be able to hear a um, couple of drops of rain. Um, we just had some food in the White Horse pub in the village, which was very nice. I'm so full, I'm going to rat explode. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, there seems to be a little bit of rain, not too much, while we're in there, but um, we seem to avoid avoided that, so that worked out quite well for us. Um, making use of that shelter which you saw earlier, and uh, yeah, we're just going to stay here for a um, little while till our train arrives. It's the next train to arrive, so. Yeah, and just get get comfortable, I suppose. And you can hear the barriers of level crossing going. This is our first train back. The return begins. Yep, so still at Bempton, this one takes as far as Seema. And then we change for that to next train to York, and then to Newcastle. And a little train, the metro, to get us back. Oh yeah, never get the metro, but for the last leg. <laughs> Here we go then. So somewhat unusual sight, a loco hauled Transpennine service, um, SEMA, heading back to York. Let's get on board. Hello again from Moulton. Uh, we're back again on the return journey. Uh, we've been here about 15 minutes. Uh, another train appears to have struck some sheep or something, or well, there's some sheep at least still roaming the lines. Further ahead of us. Waiting to be restrained, apparently. <laughs> yeah, so 
got no word on when we're uh, going to be moving on. Probably already must have connection at York, but uh, um, we'll speak to some people when we get there, and uh, um, hopefully they'll be understanding and let us on a later train. <laughs> For now, we just sit tight um, and pick up a book about hares um, at the uh, bird sanctuary. <laughs> Life of the hair, cameras all going to be focusing on that, which is nice. And yeah, so not particularly long book, so I'll probably finish it, possibly even by the time we start moving again. But for now, we, we just sit and wait. <laughs> okay, so we've been here just over half an hour, not going anywhere. I've been reading my book about hairs. Um, I found a poem with alternative names for the hair, some of which are brilliant. Okay, so. Naming the hare was thought to bring bad luck. One anonymous 13th century poem lists 77 alternative names for Sir Hare, the creature that must not be named. The hare, the hairekin. Old Big Bum. <laughs> Old Bouchard, which I guess is Bill Boucher's mouth in uh, French, so something do that. The mouthy one. <laughs> the mouthy one. The hareling, the frisky one. Old Turpin, the fast traveller. The way beater, the white spotted one. The lurker in ditches, the filthy beast, old wim, <laughs> old wimount, the coward, the slink away, the nibbler, the one it's bad luck to meet. You probably disagree with that. Yep. <laughs> the white livered, the scutter, the fellow in the dew, the grass nibbler, old goybert, the one who doesn't go straight home and gets stuck on the train thanks to dead sheep, the traitor, the friendless one, the cat of the wood. <sighs> the sterile with wide eyes, the cat that lurks in the broom, the purblind one, the furs cat, the clumsy one, the blear-eyed one, the wall-eyed one, the looker to the side, and also the hedge frisker, the stag of the stubble, long-eared, the animal of the stubble, the springer, the wild animal, the jumper, the short animal, the lurker, the swift as wind, the skulk. <laughs> The squat in the hedge, the dew beater, the dew hopper, the sitter on its form, is in that little um, indentation that they live in, they don't live in ones. The hopper in the grass, the fidgety footed one, I oh, quite like that one, alliteration. The sitter on the ground, the light good, the sitter in the bracken, the stag of the cabbage, <laughs> the cropper of herbage, one nom, the low creeper, the sitter still. The small tailed one, the one who turns to the hills, get up quickly, the one who makes you shudder, the white bellied one, the one who takes refuge with the lambs, the, the numb skull, the food mumbler, the niggard, the flincher, the one who makes people flee, the covenant breaker, the snuffler, the cropped head. <sighs> His chief name is Scoundrel. The stag with the leathery horns, the animal that dwells in the corn, the animal that all men scorns, the animal that no one dare name. <laughs> well, here we are, hopefully final train of the day. I'm pulling to York in about two minutes to um, get across the bridge to get on the whole next train. Still, I've got a little breath. I'm going to die again. <laughs> You're already dead. <laughs> Or at least your avatar is. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm probably going to have to explain about what's happened with the delayed train, but um, they're generally being quite lenient in terms of letting people onto other services, especially if it's delayed. So, hopefully, this will be the last train and we'll be back in an hour. <laughs> well, this is likely to be the last video of the day. We're just pulling into Newcastle now, so we're going to head home and. Uh, <laughs> Um, Pass out. Yeah, get, get some sleep because it's been a rather long day. It's, oh, it's, it's 25 to 11 now. <laughs> a bit longer than we expected to be, but it was fun. Lots of trains, lots of burbs. And yeah, we'll, we'll see you for the next video. Bye <laughs> yeah, bye. Okay, so we're on the second train now. We're from York to Scarborough. Um, opposite side of the table, so that's why things are a little bit, uh, which are not very good, you can't, very dark there, aren't you? Okay, so here we are on the second train from York to Scarborough. Um, a little bit busy. Hey, John, you to get past inspection. Can I pass it out? Tickets and passes ready for inspection, please. Hey, sir. Uh, ticket, you're all back. 
Okay, so we're here on the second train now. It's getting trans Okay, so there's quite a lot of announcements as we're just pulling away from York there. So hope we get a chance to send quickly a second train from York to Scarborough. Yeah, not something I expected to see in rural Yorkshire. Appears to be a little robotic lawnmower around outside this tractor place. Yeah, basically. Just bring around, look where you can go around, I think it was.